I'm Chix. A lot of you may not have seen me, or you probably a lot of you have, because I'm in a lot of my videos in front of the camera. I think I finally have a chance to do the video I've been wanting to do for years, and that's one about my back surgery. But mostly what it was like before the back surgery, during, I guess, and then like right after, and kind of what it's like uh, living with, it, with the back surgery. A little bit of history. My surgery was a lumbar laminectomy of the L5-S1. I had never known what it was. I just had sciatic pain down my left leg and um, kind of local pain in the lo lower back, but mostly my foot would go numb. Um, so uh, a lot of pain. I had very a lot of weakness. And I've kind of always had a bad back and bad experiences with joints. I've had my first joint surgery was a knee surgery for a torn meniscus, and that's when I was 19, I think. It was, it was sometime around then. So it wasn't surprising that I had to have surgery for my back. It was surprising that it was herniated so bad and that I had lived with it for so long. Um, I went to three different doctors, chiropractors, all kinds of stuff. They prescribed me pain medication, muscle relaxers, um, they adjusted my back. Each time it helped, but it didn't fix it, nothing fixed it. And finally it got so bad that I couldn't, I could barely walk. And I went to a chiropractor and they put me on a little stretching machine and that was pretty much the the straw that broke the camel's back and <laughs> almost literally no not really i'm not a camel when i came home from that i almost couldn't walk i had so much sciatic pain down my left leg and so i was laid up in bed for a few days i wasn't able to work i wasn't able to do anything um, i mean i could walk it was more like a shuffle so i went and i went to my primary care physician i said i i need to get an mri so i went and i got an mri and lo and behold, I had a severely herniated disc at L5-S1, uh, which is your lowest, lowest disc, and it's one of the most common. There's a lot of pressure there, especially because it's a lumbar disc. So, um, I got lucky since uh, a family friend was a surgeon, so one of my relatives got in contact with him. Uh, he was a neurosurgeon in, uh, in Houston, locally here. So I got in contact with him, he did some tests, looked at my MRI, and he says, you need to get surgery and immediately, as soon as possible. I'm in the hospital, I go in, you know, they do their typical surgery stuff, put the IV in me, all that good stuff. But it, it was a really short surgery, it wasn't really a whole, a whole big ordeal. And they woke me up, and as soon as I woke up and I was able to, you know, kind of see my surroundings and be coherent, they got me up, I had to walk. I had to make sure that I could feel my toes and I had to urinate. Um, so as long as all those things were good, I was able to be dismissed that day so it was an outpatient surgery. I did have a lot of trouble walking and there was a lot of pain at the site of the incision uh, in my lower back. Um, but I was able to walk and the leg pain, pretty much all gone. The sciatic pain down my leg, all gone. So the first couple days after the surgery, not a whole lot of movement. I pretty much stayed in bed, took my painkillers, tried to relax. Uh, the swelling definitely started. And I started to feel more pain down my leg again. And after the first, I guess, honeymoon couple of days, I started feeling a lot more pain down my leg and also at the incision site. Uh, it was painful to move. Uh, it was difficult to move. It wasn't, it was more, it wasn't alarming per se but it was definitely worse than the honeymoon period. So it's, that's when I first had my doubts about the surgery, I guess you could call it. You know, you're, you're coming down off the greatness of, oh my gosh, I'm cured and everything like that. And so I did have a little hiccups in the beginning. Um, for the first couple of weeks, I'd say for the first six weeks, uh, I had quite a bit of pain um, down, down my leg, just, just like it was pre-surgery. I contacted the surgeon, they said that's pretty normal, um, the swelling can increase while it's healing. The tissue will swell there and put pressure on the sciatic nerve just like before the surgery when the herniated disc was pressing on it. So they said it's pretty normal, you know, if it keeps up, definitely come in for a second MRI. Once I could actually start living my life again and walking around, I was very, very careful. I had problems with uh, curbs. If I would step off of a curb or even trip a little bit on my, because I'm a little clumsy, um, I would have terrible pain in my lower back. I, so I just had to be very careful. 
don't take it too fast is my my biggest advice and don't give up don't let your mind convince you that something is wrong because that's what i did it, after the honeymoon period i started having the pain and i doubted what was happening i was like oh no maybe i'll never be cured you know i've lived with this for too long i was too stupid i didn't get it checked out you know the doctors all told me that i was too young to have a herniated disc so i started having doubts the first six months were pretty rough i went through some depression um ups and downs uh, you know, stepping off the curves and doing simple things was walking up and down stairs I would have some issues with. Um, and if I would do too much activity, the, the tissue that was healing at the incision site in my lower back would start to swell and I'd start to feel pain down my lower leg and I was like, oh no, I may be herniated it again. But anyway, biggest thing I could say is keep your head up. Don't let your mind run away with, you know, scenarios. A positive attitude really did a lot for me. I, like I said, I went through the, the depression and the depression really, it, it hinders your, your healing tremendously. You, your brain is a very powerful thing. So after the first six months, I had a second MRI because I was in doubt if I was actually cured or not. I didn't have a herniated disc. It was just scar tissue. I do have a lot of scar tissue even to this day. It's been years later. I still, it flares up every once in a while. I feel a little bit of numbness in my toes. Um, but I am a very active person. I do all kinds of stuff, and I don't, I don't want my back surgery or my knee surgery or any of my other problems and surgeries that I've had to limit me. Now I'm careful. I'm not willy nilly, but I definitely want to live my life, and that's what I'm trying to say. Is people that either have had a herniated disc or have a herniated disc and are interested in the surgery, definitely talk to your doctor. Um, try to find a good doctor. Like I said, I talked to three different doctors and none of them were helpful. Uh, finally, the surgeon, uh, after I got the MRI, he was a super helpful person, super down to earth. He says, you know, this may not fix it. And what I'm telling you guys right now is mine's not 100%. Um, I definitely, I can walk better, I can I'm be active, I can go back to do what, I'm, what I love, riding motorcycles, um, jet skis, all kinds of stuff like that. Keep your head up. If you have any questions, let me know definitely talk to get multiple multiple opinions you don't necessarily have to go with surgery there's many other options my choice i'm happy with the surgery i'm happy that i did it i'm happy the people that i dealt with and uh even though i'm not 100 percent i'm able to do the things that i want to do and that's really that's the important part